Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy B Dot back with another quick video. I know you guys haven't saw me in a while. Not in my real setup right now. I just picked a little side bathroom at the place. I want to come at you guys real quick, man, and show you this crucial bar that I received probably a couple of weeks ago. And I haven't got a chance to review it yet. I haven't got a chance to use it at all. I'm just waking up around here, so I'm just getting the beers looking real, real rough and raggedy. Actually, I got to shave up underneath here in a minute because I'm going to step out in a second and go watch the fight. Here's a little manual right here. And it uh, comes with like a little velvet bag or something that you can put it in afterwards, I guess. And the cord. Oh, this is all one. And a little cleaning brush. Let's get into this, man. One of the main reasons I wanted to get a chance to use this, man, because I haven't seen too many brothers, you know, um, African-American men, you know, using a crucial bar or using heating brushes in general. So I want to give it a try for that reason. Got a little Velcro around here to hold it. Oh, that's really cool. Here it is. As you can see, the bristles. Little thin, little brush, small. I guess you gotta plug it in and let it get hot. I should have did that beforehand, but I want to open it first. Plug it in right there. And what you just. And I guess, well, as you can see, it's plugged in now, but it's still a black button, so maybe once it heat up, it'll turn a certain color. And I have seen reviews on this brush, but again, I have never used one. Um. The guys that I see using them, you know, all have pretty straight hair or or it's easy to curl and all that kind of stuff. But to see it on a really, really coarse hair, that's going to be something to see. So I definitely want to get that a try. And again, I'll put all the links down below in the description. This again is the Kusha Bar. i also tag his Instagram down below to the guy that sent it to me. Um, but yeah, man. Let's see how this thing works. All right, guys, you know my jive ass. I don't know how to work nothing. I don't read no instructions. But I had to hold the button down until it turned all the way green like it is now. It's not beeping. It was beeping for a second. And now it's not beeping now, so I guess it's hot. I do feel the heat on the bristles. Went upstairs and grabbed my comb while I was waiting. My rake comb. Let's see if I can kind of straighten it out a little bit. I don't know what this heat going to do. As you guys can see, it's hot as hell. I had my shirt all sweaty and all that shit. But I'm about to get ready to hop in the shower and get out of here. So let's run through the beer real quick. The only product that's in my beer right now is from yesterday. Um, just some beard butter and some beard oil from the morning. So let's see. You definitely feel the heat. A little smoke. Smoking like crazy now. Like back in the day when your grandma was doing your cousin's hair, your girl cousin's hair in the kitchen with the hot comb on the stove, smelling up the whole house and smoke everywhere. Damn, this shit hot, making me even hotter. Mm. Now I'm noticing that it is hot as hell, but you don't really feel it to the touch like that, but it is hot. But with these bristles being so tiny, you guys can see that. It's not really getting down to my skin. I'm trying to press hard where I can at least feel it, but it is straightening out the ends a little bit. Now, this is heat on a coarse beard. Fresh in the morning. No additional products in it from yesterday.
Yeah. I can definitely see. You can definitely see where the length is kind of coming in a little bit. But my damn hair feels really, really toasted right now. But I'm sure I can just get that right back to what it was after my shower. All right, my camera just died. I had to change the battery. But yeah, so I guess at the end, you can just hold it down. Yeah, then it just shuts off the green light goes off. So this is the crucial bar. I mean, you probably got to give me a couple days with it, man. If I will try it again, just to see what it does. It definitely straighten out the hairs on my chin a lot easier because this part of my chin is definitely a straighter texture anyway. And all this is pretty much curly. And of course, we all know up on the hair is real curly. But it definitely did stretch it out a little bit because of the heat. You definitely have seen hot combs go through hair and get it straight when you got coarse hair. You know what I'm saying? So, same thing with this. So, yeah, if you are that guy that's looking for some length on your beard for a night out or something like that, you want to get out, you want to step out for the night, you want to get you some length on your beard outside of a blow dryer or something, I would definitely probably recommend this after one use because I definitely can see what some guys are looking for. And, um, but... Me, I like to wear mine just how I come out the shower after my conditioner, after my wash and all that kind of stuff. I like to get out the shower, put some butter, maybe some oil, comb it through, pat it down. I'm good to go. So the Kusha Bar, if you guys are interested, I will have the links down below. You guys can go check it out. And I'm going to get out of this hot-ass bathroom because I'm sweating like a damn hog. So as always, thanks for all the continued support. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, and I'll holler back. Peace.